What we got here is something brand new for the 2022 GMC Terrain, never before, but just introduced is the AT4 trim. Now, if you don't know, AT4 is all-terrain 4x4, and GMC, just like Denali and Elevation, has created a sub-brand called AT4. We know it's on the Canyon, it's on the Sierra, it's on the... It's on a Yukon, it's also on the Acadia. Now we have it on the Terrain, which kind of gives it this unique look that separates it from the rest of the lineup. First and foremost, aside from the badging, you can see they put this dark Android finish, kind of puts it into the grill. Now with this dirty black paint, because the Terrain just showed up, you can see it still pops a little bit as opposed to blending in completely like you would get on something of an Elevation Edition. Also, that, that Android finish kind of blends into a little bit of the bezels down here with the fog lamps. These are your LED daytime running lamps and then obviously your headlamps are the same. This whole cluster has been changed for 2022 where you get a little bit more of a squared C-shaped running lamp where previous generation it was a bit more of a rounded C. The keen eye is gonna you know, notice these things. But also in the sunshine you can see part of this standard equipment is these black 17 inch aluminum wheels that's part of the package now coming with the at4 badge obviously you're going to get some goodyear wrangler these are the fortitude tires so it's a little bit more of an aggressive tread as opposed to our all season tires which you're going to get on mainly any other terrain so far and then and then on the inside is really where you're going to see a lot of the parts that makes it stand out as an at4 so when the doors opened up, the first thing that I noticed reading through here is you get a little bit more of a different color. It's kind of a bronzy brushed aluminum. And then you can see you get your AT4 Kalahari stitching that comes in through here. Obviously you can see it in the seats as well. You get more of this contrast stitching that comes in, comes all the way up. And then obviously AT4 badge has been stitched into the headrest. You can see that little bit of the contrast stitching as well. And then check this out. You get these four little stripes, three are Kalahari leather, one is red, kind of matches up with the rest of the color scheme that'll come in through here. And then also on the, on the door panels and some other decorative trim, something a little different that we don't see in a Terrain Denali or an Elevation Edition or an SLT as a matter, you get kind of this, almost looks like a metal board in a way. So we ordered this one with the SLT Pro Grade package, kind of makes this one very luxurious to go along with this a little bit more of an aggressive look. First thing that I always notice is you're gonna get your panoramic sunroof. On top of that, you also get the safety package, which gives you your front and rear park assist. You get your blind zone alert, you get your uh, lane change alert. And then on the backside, included in your park assist, you also get the uh, rear cross traffic alert. Make sure you're not gonna back into traffic and cut somebody off. So this one has uh, you know, the power trunk release, so you can do it one of three ways. There's a button in the handle in through here. You can use your key fob and open that, or you can use there's uh, the power trunk release button on the driver's side door. Now, let's get rid of these mats again. Nice, generous area for your cargo area, which looks good. You also get a little bit of a subfloor that's part of the terrain's uh, you know, unique features. But why they have a subfloor is because when you use these little pull handles over here on the side, if I pull one, I get you know, nice, quick, easy access to drop the seats. Pull the other one, now I got a huge access to here. But here's what sets the terrain apart from the, a lot of the other vehicles that we have in our lineup, particularly the twin, the Chevy Equinox. Now when I fold the seat forward, there's over eight feet from when the tailgate's closed all the way up to this dashboard. Talk about making an, a, a, you know, a subcompact SUV very versatile. Now from the driver's cockpit, where you still get your precision shift, this, this little cluster here has been changed a little bit. Keeps it real, real simple when you want to change gears. Instead of having a pull gear for, you just use these toggle switches. So you pull for drive, keeps it real simple. Pull for reverse and then your 360 degree camera comes in because this terrain's been equipped with the tech package and then you push for park. So now you can see with your eight inch infotainment system here, let's get back to that reverse. Like I said, 360 degree camera here. Here's my view looking out the rear, but if I use this button here, now I can look out the front, which gives my view out here, comes through on the camera. Also, you can check out this angle. 
Here is your two front wheels, which turns out really cool. So as I turn my wheels, I can see how close I am to the curb. And then if I use that button again, now I can look at, you know, picture in my rear tires, how close they are to the curb. Make sure your nice, pretty black rims gonna stay black. And another thing that they've added to this tech package, right in here is the heads up display. So from what I'm looking at here, let's focus on this. You can see there's, I get my, uh, my RPMs and my speed. It's probably flashing for you, but it's constantly on for me. The reason why they do this is because, you know, if you put it so it shines up like in our GMC Yukon that has heads up display, these windshields can be a lot more expensive. So to keep the price competitive, they just have your heads up display fold up in this little area here. There's con uh, controls down in this side. So if I use this button right here, now this thing will fold away and it kind of just goes out of sight, out of mind. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, subscribe to my YouTube channel where you're gonna get more reviews, more talks, and my thoughts on the automotive industry, including one of these brand new GMC Terrain AT4s.